Hello, welcome. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see this question. There it all is. Press pause, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so Seth's parents gave him $5,000 to invest for his 16th birthday. All right, nice. He's considering two investment options. Good job. Option A will pay him 4.5% interest compounded annually. Option B will pay him 4.6% compounded quarterly. Okay, so I'm going to just underline a couple of things. Starting off with 5,000. Uh, a is giving 4.5% compounded annually, where B pays 4.6% compounded quarterly. Okay, so write a function for option A. So, and option B that calculates the value of each account after n years. So A, so a of n for account A based on n years is going to start off at 5,000. And so is B of n, that they're both starting off at 5,000. But they're, they're growing the money in different ways. The first one is it's going to be 1 plus 4.5% is 0 0.045, compounded once per year. So I'm going to condense this to 5,000 times 1.045 to the n. So it's just you're adding 4.5% once a year for n years. But for B, it's going to be 1 plus, what is it, 4.6%, so 0 0.046. But they take that, and they, they compound it quarterly. So they take that amount, divide it by 4. That's right. So you get the 4.6% divided by 4, 4 times a year, so to the 4n. So it's basically saying instead of getting 4.6 once, you get a fourth of that amount four times a year. So if you compound it quarterly, you divide the, the interest by four and get it, and then you could do that four times four every year. So if two years occurred, you would actually compound it eight times, four times two. And if we simplify this, we get 5,000 times, I got 1.0115, to the 4n. So I just I did this calculation in there. And now I have these two functions. And in the next part, it says Seth plans to use the money after he graduates in six years to determine how much more money option B will earn than option A. So to just show your work right here, you can just say, well, it's going to be B of 6 minus A of 6. You're plugging 6 into both functions. But I'm going to also show the work here, right? I'm going to show it, but I don't think you need to. Let me just take a look at some student work. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, you can get away with, sorry, I'm just peeking over this. If you calculate what B of 6 and A and 6 are and subtract them, they would give you a full credit here um, if you wanted to, uh, to figure it out. But I'm going to show the work because it's the biggest question on the test. You might as well take your time. So it's really going to be 5,000 times 1.0115 to the 4 times n, so 24th, because 4 times n is 6, 4 times 6 is 24. And then we're going to subtract uh, 5,000 times 1.045 to the 6th. And here, if we do this, so even though you're going to have more plan B, even though you have less interest, but it's being compounded um, even though this number 1.015 is smaller than 1.045, you're compounding it more times. So here, check your calculations. You should get 67.57. And then I'm going to say it in words, $67.57 more with option B. Especially on question 37, I really make sure I say what my answer will be. Then we say algebraically determined to the nearest tenth of a year how long it would take for option B to double Seth's initial investment. So option B to double the investment. The initial investment was 5,000, yes, so the, the doubling would be 10,000. If we're using option B, we want to know when does 5,000 times 1.0115 to the 4n, right, when does that get you 10,000? So the first move to solve this, I divide both sides by 5,000. Okay, these cancel. 10,000 divided by 5,000 is just 2. 
So I get 2 equals 1.0115 to the 4n. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log of both sides. The log of 2 equals the log of 1.0115 to the 4n. And then here, a property of logs, I can bring this exponent down in front. So 4 times n times the log of 1.0115 equals the log of 2. And that law I just use, I call it the clog law, because it turns out that the log of a to the c equals c times log of a. And it looks like the word clog. So you can bring the exponent down in front, and we call it the clog law. Now, 4n times the log of 1.0115. I'm not going to evaluate that yet. I'm just going to say that's got to be the same thing as 4n equals the log of 2 divided by the log of 1.0115. And then finally, to solve for n, we would divide both sides by 4. So n is going to be equal to the log of 2 over the log of 1.0115. And I want to say times 1 fourth, same thing as dividing by 4. And if you check your calculations here, we should get about the nearest tenth of a year. Oops. Nearest tenth of a year is 15.2. So you can say it would take, it would take 15.2 years to double his investment with option B. I think that is what I would say there. So so I didn't show some of these calculations on the calculator, but, but make sure you're getting these numbers here. And that's what I would do to solve it algebraically. All right, I hope that helped.